friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. So, let me catch you up on the last couple of days. JP and I did three days together and we struggled. We drove hundreds of kilometers trying to find water we wanted to fish. Just trying to like avoid the weather. We did a heap of walking. A heap of driving. A heap of looking. Pretty good. Oh, we just spooked as if things weren't difficult enough. The rain's here. So good. We're going to pull the pen early, drive to the river that we want to fish tomorrow, and um, park up down there and probably drink some wine. Perfect. Yeah, wine. <laughs> Hey, Weka. Uh, first one of the trip. Hello, buddy. <laughs> I think he's just that spooked him. I think. Is that him? Yeah. Ah, by right there. Oh, I ate it. Oh, I missed him. Oh! It, 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 was, it was tough. JP had to go back to work. I drove a lot yesterday and I fished yesterday. I did a lot of effort, a heap of effort actually. A lot of walking, a lot of scrambling in a beautiful river, but only caught two small fish. Some amazing water. Here we go, head up, head up, head up. Oh, yes. Uh, so I tried to catch this fish. He's out there. Look how massive this river is, it's huge. Come on. So this morning I was up early and I drove far out. Nearly five hours to get here. It's lunchtime. I got to this river which I wanted to look at and it's spectacular. I mean, wow, 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 wow. So I pushed up a little bit and I've just found my first fish. You can see it over the back there, swinging around eating, so I'm gonna try and catch it, try and get on the board. What a spectacular place. It's like stepping back in time. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready, slap a fly in front of this fish and see if it leaves it. So I think I'm gonna go with the Helios 3 6 weight F, the new one. Still need a name, guys, still need a name. Though we might have one by now because I would have been posting these and we may have named it. But anyway, keep those names coming in. It's because it looks like it's actually a fairly big river. Maybe a bit of extra grunt for those long casts, long leaders. Maybe some uh, some big mending and that kind of stuff. I'm gonna make this as quick as I can because uh, they're closing in on me. The old sand flies. Mirage LT, green reel, amplitude, infinity smooth from Scientific Anglers, six weight line. Seven foot floating poly leader to a tippet ring and then I think I've got maybe about seven feet of 3x to maybe three or four feet of 4x off of that. We'll start with that and see how it goes. Looks dry grocery I think this fish, so we'll give it a go. So I'm gonna run a out here caddis. This is just a size 14. Nothing too crazy. And then we'll bang some. We're going to try. We'll try 4x. And if not, then I'll drop down to 5x. I'm going to go about an arm length because there's actually really, really clear water. So I think it's deeper than it looks. Let's try a size 14 peacock pointer. See if that open to something 
a bit bigger and a bit soft heckily. Cool, we're ready to go. Okay, buff up, hopefully fish on. I need to get up by this rock here, otherwise that current there is going to mess up my drift. Ate something. No reaction. It's right on him. Hmm. Okay. I think he looked at one, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to change a fly up. That was a size 14 peacock pointer. Man, it's nice to be fishing again after just so many hours just driving. It's going to a straight up pheasant tail, size 16. Maybe I'm not deep enough. May have looked. All right, I'm going to a little double tungsten nymph. So I'm gonna try this just with a little bit more weight. I'm feeling like maybe it's just not seeing it. I think it's quite on the bottom. Try about my shaky hand. I just finished off a king size can of Red Bull. So I'm a bit shaky. But um, yeah, this guy here, look. If you can see that. But yeah, it's uh, double tungsten. It's a little bit heavier. Just maybe it will get his attention. Maybe he's just not seeing it. Like I said, when I did that crossing, it's uh, surprisingly deep. That's what she said. Coming over. Oh, we looked at that. So I've just added like a little bit of 5X and then a tiny unweighted size 18 pheasant tail. I'm thinking maybe, you know, he's gone and looked at a couple of those flies and um, maybe they're just too big. Got him. Yes. Man, he still came up a long way to eat that. Oh, and he's off. Damn it. Damn it. So... Then she got the eat, how she came up a really long way to eat and then uh, kind of shut off downstream and then I was messing around trying to sort my line out and he swam back upstream and uh, shook the hook. At least I got the eat though, the catchable. Oh, let's find another one. That is unreal. So clear. Popped out the bushes and uh, it was like right there, quite tricky actually. There's another one Just chasing each other around. Okay. Coming over. Is that a rejection? You can see this. Coming over, coming up. Got him. Nice. Nice. It's a better fish. Oh, it's a beautiful brown. Oh, wicked. It's a great fish. The little nymph, I think, the little uh, unweighted pheasant tail. That is a beautiful fish. Come on, buddy. This way, this way, this way, this way. Oh, tangled. Yeah! Hooks out in the net, perfect. Oh, that's a fabulous fish, spectacular.
Oh my God, wow. What a way to break the dry spell. Oh, amazing fish. Cool place to catch it. I mean, look at that. Oh, that's unreal. Got the flies in front of him, gave him enough lead and just came up and just took that little uh, unweighted pheasant tail and uh, game on. Man, you know when you just struggle for a while, you have a bit of a dry spell, a bit of a schneid nine, and then it all comes together eventually, makes it all worthwhile. What a place, what a place to do it. Pretty hard river to get around. It's quite gorgy. Crossings are deep. Pretty swift. Had to get creative with uh, how to get around. I saw one other fish, but then he disappeared. Well, looks like this will be my last piece of water in this section. That's gorged out, and unless I want to swim across, and I don't. Uh, I'm going to have to turn around after this. Try and find my way in a different section, which is, which is a bummer. Okay, unfortunately, I got gorged out up there, not too far up really. Didn't really see anything else. And then couldn't go any further, couldn't do the crossing, couldn't get around either side. So what I've done is I've boosted back to the car. I think there's potentially a little track that can get me in a bit further. So I'm gonna go and investigate that. And if that doesn't work, then I might see if I can walk downstream from here. But uh, ideally, I think I'd like to go up. So uh, that's gonna be my plan now. Jump in the car, see if I can get into the this track, see if it goes anywhere, see if I can get into the river up there. Plan C, come back here, go downstream. Walking, walking, walking. I'm back in the river. Whew. I drove, I found that track I was talking about, uh, parked up and then did probably a kilometer and a half walk and I've just managed to scramble down off the track into the river and I found a fish. Oh. It's kind of out in the middle, so I'm going to go a slightly larger dry fly just to hold up the bit of extra weight that I need, I'm going to need to get down to the fish. So I'm just going to go for one of these cicada patterns. I'll put a big long piece of 5x off of that and then some sort of double tungsten weighted something or another to see, see what happens there. The two fish I've hooked today have come off the 5x and the really small fly. So I'll start with, look, I think I've got like a double tungsten size 16 something or another. It's going to go pretty freaking long. Little black, little bit of flash. I don't know what it's called. Hunting and fishing jobby. And if he doesn't eat that, then um, I'll just chuck something real small off the bend of that because it worked on the last fish. I haven't even looked yet. Oh, here we go, coming over. So you looked at that. It had a tiny bit of split shot. What? What are we seeing this? Okay, found a fish. Staying heavy. You see this? Ooh, we had a good look. Oh, unbelievable! He ate the dry, and I missed him. Oh, what? 
Okay, so I've got a fish down there. I really should change my rig, but I'm getting super lazy here. Ate the, ate the dry. Oh, I'm glad I was lazy. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Tricky piece of water to land a fish in, though. Fast. And nowhere to go, really. <laughs> oh, I kind of needed that fish. I tell you. That sucks. Oh, kidding. another week guys I somehow either forgot to do an outro on the day or I've since lost the footage somewhere I don't, I don't really know what happened it's all a bit of a blur but it was a super tough couple of days really uh, I was either just not finding fish or the fish that I did find I couldn't crack the code on I'd hook fish and then lose them and just uh, just it was just a bit of a, a bit of a rough patch there. A lot of walking, a lot of exploring, a lot of time just soaked up trying to find my way into rivers, around rivers, up rivers, down rivers, across rivers. All just stuff you've got to factor into a trip. Beautiful water, and when you find fish that you can't work out how to catch, as frustrating as that is, it just makes me want to go back and, and just crack the code, work it out, you know? But that'll have to wait for another trip. I'll definitely go back to some of that water that I, uh, I explored in this video because it's got potential and I know there's fish there there has to be fish there all right hope you enjoyed this one guys give me a thumbs up drop me a comment in the comment section below and please if you haven't subscribed and you watch these videos please just hit the button join the team help me grow the channel that's a big big aim of mine this year is to get this channel over 20,000 subs until the next one everybody have yourselves a great week I'll see you on the next one peace